Okay, it took longer than two minutes to build this DIY lifting platform, but this time-lapse build is a quick review of my progress. The design is based on the platform from Art of Manliness with a few modifications. It's eight feet by 12 feet in total with three layers. Layer one is DMX One Step 2.0 underlayment for insulation, waterproofing, and protection from the underlying concrete. Layer two is five eighths, four feet by eight feet OSB sheets. You can use particle board. I use three sheets. The third layer is a three quarter inch, four foot by eight foot maple plywood. Also on layer three is four foot by six foot horse stall mat, three and a quarter inches deep. If you don't call them gym mats then you can usually save about 50 percent but they are the same thing i used four mats after working out with dumbbells for nine months i wanted to progress to barbell workouts and needed more room i built this in my garage after insulating the walls and ceiling because it's like minus 10 celsius here so we do the world's worst vacuuming job making sure all the bits are off the floor then do a rough layout with the osb put down the first layer of the DMX one step, put the OSB back on top after taping all the seams. Finally lay down the rubber mats on top of the OSB layer. And prepare to do the maple plywood inlay. The maple plywood was given three coats of a water-based polyurethane with no sanding in between as I didn't want it to be super slippery. I cut out the space for the maple plywood sheet using a circular saw. However, that wasn't terribly good, and I ended up using a utility knife, and I recommend you go that route anyway. I had to raise the tracks of the garage door in order to get the power rack in, as well as limit the opening height of the garage door. That prevents the door from hitting the power rack. The last thing to go on will be the vinyl sticker once it arrives. Until then, I hope you found this useful, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching.